far. I've only hit a few things. But I didn't know we're there. It's 6.30 at night. So, wish me luck. I'll get my key. Is there anything in it, Rhett? Look, it's not gonna be our most flattering angle, but we're gonna go with it. Crank her up. This thing is nice. So yeah, look at all these vents that come in here. Got this. This is the nicest tractor we have. With all the amenities. Got the buddy seat, although I do have some complaints about that, but overall, pretty good. The bush hog back here. Hopefully, it's all ready to roll. All right, here's my next task. I've done one part. See all this? All I got a bush hog around all this. I can't see underneath the grass. So, what are the odds I'm gonna get out of here without wrapping anything up in this bush hog? Stay tuned, I cannot record and bush hog this. So, I'll show you the after. I'm gonna tell you another thing I do. I have no idea if this is the right thing to do, but this is what I do is when bush hogging into areas of questionable content, right? I'm not sure what's in there, even though I should know, but people throw things behind buildings and wire, metal, anything, and I can't see what's back there. I back in with the bush hog um, I go bush hog first because the bush hog kind of pushes things at first and I can feel if it bumps the back of the bush hog and that, that will make me stop and look if I'm going slow. If I'm going forward over top of things, I don't know I've hit something until it's up under the bush hog. So, um, I don't know if that's the right way to do it. That's the way I do it when I'm, when I'm not sure what's back there. And I ain't getting out to look with my feet because this snake season. So we're making some progress. It's looking good back here. All right. All right. If we're bush hogging after lunch, I got help. She doesn't want to be on video, I guess. Anyways, this field is like a jungle. So we are trying to get it taken care of. It's going good so far. I've only hit a few things. But I didn't know we're there. Not my fault. Alright, today I am taking the International over to my mom and dad's shop. Because uh, Josh went to go bush hog the other day and the PTO broke. So, I'm going to show you what I got to do to get over there. I took the kids over to my mom's and drove back home and now i'm gonna take the um tractor over there and she's gonna bring us back and someone thinks it's time to eat but it's not sorry baby not time all right here's this bad boy no air conditioning it's 100 degrees and it's like 6 30 at night so wish me luck all right, here you go. Let's climb on up. Take a look. Woo! That's rough. Comes blue. This thing, oh, he put it back on. Normally this isn't here, and I usually have to guess. So one, two, three, four. I don't know what these are. It takes me a minute to figure it out. All right, I don't have anything to prop this up, but 
I'll get my key and see if I remember how to do this. Sorry, the sun's behind me. It was a stressful trip but I made it. This thing is hot. I couldn't get it out of second gear. This is old as crap. Let me not forget to turn it off. My key. Uh, but we made it. Well, we, me, I made it and now mom's gonna take me home and I made it for a storm. So call that a success. I love being over here at this time of day. I don't know. I guess because it's where I grew up. It's so peaceful. It brings me peace. Work day's over. And yeah, it's just nice. Nice time to walk and enjoy. These clouds come in. It's finally cooled off a little bit. Thank the Lord. Nothing's in there. Got nothing. Oh man. I need to find some more bait. What flavor tuna did you use? The spicy. <laughs> Maybe the fish don't like spicy tuna. <laughs> Might just like plain old tuna. Hey, stick it over in the deeper water. Deep water. Uh, oh my goodness. Whoa! <laughs> oh my goodness! Hey, that's as far as it goes, son. Yeah, the deeper water's right there. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Here we go. Now you cool it off, right? <laughs> <laughs> We're supposed to be moving cows. Waiting for the storm to pass. And we have to go collect a rabid raccoon and relocate it. Well, it's not rabid. It's eating my mom's chickens. Josh has got on my mom's rain jacket to release him. I grabbed it by that carpet. Like the handles through that carpet. Raccoon's hero, John Manning. <laughs> 